Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Some opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feels. I got this idea due to being a fan of Nathaniel Bandy, so don't murder me with a javelin or suck me into a 1964 video game console. Okay, dude? Oh look! Race of the Fatties! There's online, but I don't know anybody in the universe that would actually want to play this. Just look at the screen right now, not enough people joined. And this is the day it came out, mind you. So, not even who's gonna be playing this in like a year. They still haven't added any new characters since 2010. Yeah, we still do have, have, have some, um, you know, new faces or returning ones from, 20, from 2016. But they're still only available in one event. Why can't they just make them full playable characters if they already have the models for them and everything? Would it really be that hard? Yeah, I know there's a lot of events here. Like, like if you first look at this, you'll be like, oh, that's a lot. But, but the thing is, 2012 still had more events. And also had like 90 extra mini games in it. So comparing that to this, this looks lazy. Even though it is better than Sochi 2014 and Rio 2016. It's still lame in comparison to the one six years ago. Why the heck is Toadette a playable character, but not Toad? Thank God the Dreamer events are back, but there's only three of them. Where did the Miis go? Where is the option to change the music that plays during the events? Heck, even Rio had that. S step it up, Tokyo. Besides the characters in the minigames that you unlock in story mode, there's nothing else for you to unlock. There's no costumes, there's no music, nothing. What happened to Dry Bowser, Toad, and Nabbit? They're gone! I appreciate the fact that they gave Rouge the bat her, her Sonic Riders outfit, but I mean, it looks a little, you know. Now I like the retro style um, events and stuff like that. I think it's cool to change the pace, but there's only eight characters. Are, are you kidding me? You can't play any of the retro style events if there's three or four people. You can only play with one or two. The, the story mode map has jack squat to do in it, aside from going from place to place. So in the story mode, you basically get a bunch of missions to do. And I don't have the fo any footage of it here because I beat it already. But if you lose three times in a mission, you could skip the mission. So that basically means you can beat the whole story mode without winning a single event. Why the heck is this an option? I left the end of the story mode again, but it doesn't come close to the one from, Van from Vancouver or even 2012. Nintendo made these efforts for thirsty people. I appreciate that they're letting us use buttons or, or motion controls, but the problem is nobody ever wants to use motion controls in anything. So what was the point? I like the amount of events that they have here, but they're also missing a lot. Where's BMX, Hammer Throw, Trampoline, Shrink and Rise Swimming? They're missing, they're missing so many events. Oshii, doing the T-pose is not okay. Alright, why is Ludwig dabbing? Alright, honestly, I, I, I'm, fine with, I'm fine with having some guest characters for events, fine. But literally, like... Like, three-fourths of the events don't have guest characters. Where's all the Koopalings? We only get- we only get Wendy, um, Larry, and Ludwig. Why not just add all of them? I need my Iggy. Maybe next time, buddy. This is the only time I can play as a bunny, and that's a problem. Is there any good reason by- why Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi have to be shirtless? And also, Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi are shirtless, but they're still swimming with their gloves on? Why? I appreciate that the characters get, um, you know, specific outfits depending on the events, but I don't really see a reason for it. So, so they're shooting Japanese kites that look like people. This is a problem. I like the fact that you can play the mini games from the story mode. But you'll pretty much forget they're there because, first off, they're not your main part of the story anyway. They're just little side missions. And two, like, they're in the records. I mean, I don't think you'd look in the records. I mean, if, if you were in the, 
the retro part, you can move over to the next part and find these. Alright, then it'd be easy to find. But who would look in the records for something as minor as this? So there's a trivia option. Why does this exist? Alright, so you can get companions or whatever by, you know, doing the character specific missions. But what's the point if you can't even choose who you play as during specific events? And no, I'm not talking about the retro style. Even in the modern style, you can't choose who you want to play as for each event. So there's no point in even having these companions in the first place. So this console is coming out when exactly? I love how the buildings are breathing. I know this is nitpicky, but for the characters in in the menu, everyone's everyone every character got different renders except for Donkey Kong. It's the same one from Rio. So why is he his the only one that hasn't got changed? The picture on the home screen of the Switch looks so bland. Like look at Smash Ultimates compared to this. Smash Ultimates is much more detailed. This is something else nitpicky. But, but for every other installment, um, the country and the year that the Olympic Games take place is before the Olympic Games. But, but in Tokyo, that's not the case. It goes Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. But, but all the other ones were like Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games or the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Uh, this does not big a deal, but I just find it odd. And I don't know why they did this. All right, but in the end, though, I mean, this this is my this is one of my favorite Mario Sonic games. It's actually a pretty good game, and I don't regret getting it on the on the first day instead of waiting for Christmas. I actually really do like this game. It has a lot of great stuff to it. To it.